I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to help judge in the Atlanta Urban Debate League. At the AUDL, we believe deeply in the educational benefits that are extended to students by debate, and it wouldn't be possible without help from folks like yourself. Thank you for coming out. That said, this year is going to be a bit different from ones that we've had in the past, and I'm here to help walk you through the different changes that we've implemented for this year. One, obviously, our debates are now online. The online debates will feature a new one-on-one -on -one format, and you can find in-depth breakdowns of this style on our website. I can quickly give you the SparkNotes version, though. One, each debater will have a set amount of time to speak. In middle school novice, each debater will have eight minutes. In every other division, they'll get 10. Next, our affirmative debaters will speak three times, while negative debaters will speak twice. As a result, negative constructives and rebuttals will have the same length, which is four minutes in novice and five minutes elsewhere, while affirmative rebuttals will be half as long as constructives because there are two of them. In middle school novice, they'll have four minute constructives and two minute rebuttals. In other divisions, they'll have five minute constructives, three minute first rebuttals, and two minute second rebuttals. Also, there will still be two two minute cross examination periods after each constructive, and each debater will still have five minutes of prep time. Next, the online debate tournaments will also have a new structure. Instead of taking up a full Saturday with four rounds, tournaments will now last only two. That way, debaters will still get a chance to debate on both sides of the resolution while giving staff enough time to work out any technological difficulties that may arise, because believe me, they are going to happen. Next, students will be debating from home. Not every student will have access to the same amount of, or same amount of or quality of resources, so I urge you to be mindful when you are judging debate rounds. Please be patient with technological issues and try not to let things outside of a student's control affect the result of the round. When I was in high school, I know that my parents loved to ignore whatever I was doing in my room, if I was on the call, phone with friends, if I was on a Skype call or whatever. So if a student gets thrown off because a parent enters the room, try to be patient with them. Also, if Wi-Fi issues derail your round, just alert the AUDL staff and try not to let the effects of that uh, interfere with the decision that you make. All of that said, don't be afraid to use your microphone to ask a student uh, to act in an appropriate manner. Uh, for instance, if their mic is unmuted during an opponent's speech, that can make flowing their words difficult. And if a parent chooses to loudly cheer on their student as they debate, you should feel free to tell them to refrain from doing so. It's already really hard to get things across through a microphone uh, and any interference isn't, isn't necessarily something you wanna have to deal with. Of course, there are other challenges of online debating and as humans, we may not have anticipated them all as the AUDL staff. Please be patient with us during the season uh, as we do our best to navigate all the challenges that we're going to face. Uh, and again, thank you for showing up to judge this debate tournament.